Greetings everyone, I'm Professor TJ Wilkins and this is part 3 of the mood board tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll use Photoshop to create the mood board. Photoshop features used are Free Transform, Layers Panel, Zoom Tool, Quick Selection Tool, Layer Mask, Brush Tool, Move Tool, Blending Modes, Hue and Saturation, Horizontal Type Tool, and Sync. Make sure Auto Select is still checked. Select the sixth image in the Layers panel and turn on the Layers Visibility. Hold down the Alt key or Option key and click on the Visibility icon. This will turn off the visibility in the other layers. Press Command or Control T and increase the size of the image. Drag at the corners to increase the size. Double click on the image when you're done. Press Command plus or Control plus on the keyboard to zoom in. Or use the zoom tool. Click on the quick selection tool in the tools panel and select only the yellow and white flowers. I only want the flowers in this selection, so I'm holding down the Option key on a Mac, Alt key for a PC, to deselect the leaves, branches, and other areas that are not needed. Go to the bottom of the Tools panel and click on the Add Layer Mask icon. The Layer Mask allows parts of the layer to be hidden or revealed without damaging the image. It's a great way to remove backgrounds or parts of an image that is not needed. It allows more flexibility with editing than permanently deleting parts of a layer. There are still dark areas around the flowers that I do not need. To get rid of those areas, go to the Tools panel, select Black in the foreground color, then select the Brush tool. Use the bracket keys on the keyboard to increase or decrease the size of the brush. Then use the brush to trace around the parts of the image that needs to be hidden. The black brush hides the image and a white brush reveals the image. In this case, I'm using a black brush to hide the parts of the image that are not needed. If I made a mistake and covered a part of the image that I did not want, I will go back to the foreground color and change the color to white and then use a white brush to reveal the necessary parts. But for now, I'm sticking with the black brush. In the layers panel, there are two rectangular shapes in the six image layer. The rectangle on the far right is for the layer mask. Double click on the layer mask icon to access the properties panel. Click on the feather dial and increase the feather effect to soften the edges of the image. Choose whatever pixel amount works best for your image. Click the double arrows in the far right corner to close the properties panel. Go to the Layers panel, hold down the Alt or Option key, and click on the Visibility icon for the sixth layer. This reveals all of the other layers. Press Command-0 or Control-0 to view the full workboard. Every layer except the sixth image layer should be locked. Press V for the Move tool. Click on the image and drag to the far right of the screen. Press Command or Control T on the keyboard to decrease the image size. Drag in from the corners to 
decrease the size. Click away from the image to deselect. Hold down the Option or Alt key on a PC. Click on the image and drag to make a copy. Make about six to seven copies of the image. Arrange the flowers so that they're in the upper right corner of the mood board. Have some of the flowers branch out to about the middle of the mood board. If you are confused as to what layer each flower is in the layers panel, just turn off each of the layers visibility and then you get to match each uh, flower to its layer. You can rename the layers accordingly if you like. Click on one of the flowers in the top right corner, hold down the shift key, and click on another flower to select. Go to the layers panel, click on the blending mode options above the layers panel, Scroll down and select Overlay. Double click away from the image to deselect. Click on one set of flowers in the middle lower right corner. Press Command U or Control U on the keyboard to access the Hue and Saturation panel. Make sure there is a check mark near Preview in the Hue and Saturation panel. Drag the panel to the far right so you can see the flowers on the workboard. Then adjust the hue and saturation to your color of choice. Hmm, I'm picking green. Click OK when you're done. Click on the flower image over frame 3. Go to the Layers panel, click on the Blending Mode options, scroll down and select Luminosity. So I'm moving the images around just a little bit more to play around with the layout. Once you're done, scroll all the way to the top of the Layers panel and select the top layer. Then go to the Tools panel and select the Horizontal Type tool. Go up to the options for the type tool and select Apple Chancery. Go up to the font size and make it uh, 58 points. Change it to 58 points. Click on the foreground color in the tools panel. Select a very light gray or a white color. Click OK when you're done. Click on the board underneath the hut image and type in Island Paradise. Select the Move tool in the Tools panel. Click on Island Paradise and drag it so that it's positioned underneath the hut. Increase or decrease the size if needed. Double click away from the text when you're done. And we're done! To save the work, go to File in the top menu, scroll down to Save As, select, change the name to Island Paradise. I'm saving on to the desktop and the format is Photoshop. Click Save at the bottom of the screen. Press OK. To save it as a JPEG, select File in the top menu, go down to Save As, in the format, select JPEG. Press Save. I'm going to keep the quality at maximum and press OK. And that concludes part three of the mood board series.